Hello everybody, it's Emily from Emily Loves London and today I am doing my June TBR. Now I am doing this before my May wrap up and that is simply because I haven't reviewed all of them, all the ones I've read in May yet so I want to finish doing that before I do my wrap up. So it will probably, my May wrap up will probably end up being posted by the end of the week, I hope. Uh, anyway, let's get down to June. June, very exciting month, lots of things to read and I've finally finished uni, so my reading list is increased even more, but now I have time to read them, so it's just, it's so good, I can't wait. Um, but I am, I do have a realistic pile, although I could read more, I have made it quite realistic try to be at least <laughs> the first thing on my list is a new release well we say it's new <laughs> it was new in may um and this is released by patrick ness and i have heard so many good things about this and i've been really looking forward to reading it and i just haven't got around to it yet since i got it so this is basically my chance to read it out uh basically releases about it's a Saturday, it's a summer, and although he doesn't know it yet, everything in Adam Thorne's life is going to fall apart. Relationships will change, he'll change, but maybe, just maybe, he'll find freedom in release. Time is running out though, because way across town, a ghost has risen from the lake, searching, yearning. She leaves a trail of dis... dis <laughs> destruction in her wake so I can't wait to read this I'm really looking forward to it and this is actually be, it will be the first thing I read of Patrick Ness I have it must be at least three other books of his on my shelf and I just haven't got around to reading him so this is kind of like the start of my um the start of my Patrick Ness readathon so yeah can't wait to read that Next on my list, I am finishing something, and that is Geekerella by Ashley Poston. And I actually was lucky enough to meet her a few days ago. So, and she signed it for me. How cool is that? And she said, To Emily, look to the stars. And basically, this is a sort of retelling of Cinderella um, in the sense that this girl has a stepmom and two who evil stepsisters and she um, is part of this big um, fan club of Starfield and it's kind of like Star Trek and um, that's what Ashley said so yeah she's part of this big fan base and they're just releasing and starting to film the accompanying film to the TV series and the lead part has been announced and she absolutely doesn't like the guy at all she really doesn't like him and she works for this little really cool food van called um the magic pumpkin and basically it's about her kind of falling in love with the guy and finding out he's actually really a starfield geek like her so i'm really enjoying it i'm about halfway through so haven't got long left hopefully i'll finish that um the next on my list is my non-fiction for the month. So I'm trying to do at least one non-fiction every month. Because I do like reading my non-fiction, because I am a history and politics former student. <laughs> so I love my love my reading of my non-fiction. Uh, this month I'm going to be reading A Very British Murder, and this is by Lucy Walsley. And she did an accompanying TV show to this as well, which I watched and I really loved. So I wanted to read the book, the accompanying book, because it obviously has a lot more history to what she's talking about. And so the book basically follows different, um, sort of the nation's kind of obsession with murder, looking at... Um, the Radcliffe Highway Murders, um, and also other murders of that time, and um, a big focus on the Victorian era as well. So yeah, I can't wait to read that. It's going to be good. Next I have um, two books from Alison Morton's series, and I 
because of my university degree, I have not got round to finishing this series. And I absolutely love the first book, and I'm halfway through the second book. So I cannot wait to just get on with it, <laughs> because I'm loving this series, and it, the characters are so interesting and so fantastic. Um, and basically, I am going to read, I'm going to finish Perifidius this month. And I'm also going to read, oh, my fingers are in the way, um, <laughs> Successia as well. So I cannot wait to read these. And if you don't already know, uh, I'm going to leave a link down below um, to my review of Insectio, which is the first one. Um, it's basically about Karen, uh, or Karina, as she's uh, now called. Um, she changes her name and um, it basically follows her life and how she is finding out about her family history and where she's actually from and through that there's a lot of thriller um, epic and um, mystery adventures it's just it's really good this series so I definitely recommend it and I will be reading the second pair of Phidias and the third success year this month. Okay, the next on my list is uh, something I have been really wanting to read but I um, just started reading it and I absolutely love it and that is Maresi by Maria Tchinaninoff and I actually got to meet her so that was absolutely fantastic in a uh, book event in Islington and she was so nice and so interesting. Um, and she signed it for me, so I'll just I'll show you. Yay! She has such a lovely signature. So pretty. So yes, I'm really enjoying this, and this is basically about um, this island. Actually, I'm not regularly explaining things, so I might as well read the blog too. Um, Maressi came to the Red, Red Abbey in the hunger winter. Before then, she had only heard rumours of its existence. In a world where girls aren't allowed to learn or do as they please, an island inhabited solely by women sounded like a fantasy. But Maressi is here and she knows it's real. The one, and one day, Jay, tangled fair hair, clothes stiff with dirt, scars on her back, arrives on a ship. She has fled to the island to escape terrible danger and unimaginable cruelty. And the men who hurt her will stop at nothing to find her. I'm really enjoying it. It's a fantastic, really interesting read. Um, so yes, I can't wait to finish this. Next on my list is something I got from Egmont this year. And this is called The Huntress Sea and it's by Sarah Driver. I just like to point out how amazingly pretty this cover is. It's just, and it's shiny. So pretty. I absolutely love it. Um, so this is about in the sky, the fire spirits dance and ripple. Grandma says they showed our tribe that I'd been a captain before I was even born. Ever since Ma died, Mouse has looked after her little brother Sparrow, dreaming of her destiny as a captain of the Huntress. <laughs> but now Dar is missing, Sparrow is in danger, and the deathly cold is creeping across the world. Ooh, that sounds really good. I can't wait to read this, and thank you to Aimont for giving this to me at LBF, so I will get to this soon. Um, uh, another thing I got given as well, and this is from Accent Press, um, and this is called between the Raven and the Dove, and it's by Sophia Kings Hill. I am absolutely really excited to <laughs> read this. I actually, funnily enough, I saw it on Amazon and pre ordered it, and then I went to LBF and I saw it, and I was talking to the lady from Accent, and she was absolutely lovely. And she said, No, 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 we'll do like a thing. And she gave me a copy of this, so I cannot wait to read this. And she told me what's that. Um, for as long as she can remember, 13-year-old Mag has lived with her father as a home for the mentally ill. The patients are all clearly mad, 
So when the usually silent Grace claims that she's Mag's real mother, and also a witch, Mag's world is turned upside down. E, witching and a madhouse. I mean, why couldn't it's not shouldn't call it a madhouse. What would you call it? Um a house for the mentally ill. That that that's much better. Although there has to be a better way of saying that, it really does. <laughs> it's really difficult to find a good way to say that kind of thing. I think we should tweet about this and find a better way to say it. Um, anyway, so I'm really excited to read that. And then on my audiobook for the month, I am reading The Girl Before, and this is by J.P. Delaney, and I really can't wait to read this. It's a psychological... read it. Listen to it. Uh, it's a psychological thriller, and it's about these two women who move into the same apartment, and they're basically their fates are intertwined. And this is a big crime element, so I can't. I'm just. I'm really excited to listen to this because this will be the first audiobook that I've listened to that's a thriller. So I'd like to see how it works in sort of the suspense way. So that would be really good. The book I am reading for this month on my Kindle Unlimited is The Paper Magician and this is by Charlie Hollenberg and it's basically about a character called Sione uh, who is assigned an apprenticeship to the magician Emery and she has to save her teacher from the excisioner. I think I'm saying that right, excisioner. Um, and basically there's all this magical big adventure in it. So I can't wait to read it. And obviously I will have a picture up for both the audiobook and the Kindle Unlimited book. So you don't look, <laughs> it doesn't look like I'm just talking about but it's not there. <laughs> also I will leave all the Goodread links to all the books I've talked about today in the description below. And... Let me just do a little thumbnailing. Oh, there we go. So this is what I'll be reading this month. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you again soon for another video.